Uh, this morning I spoke about, you know, the kids protested at Danbury High School yesterday. They staged a walkout because the guy, there's a, this guy went there like a month ago and was uh, screaming, well, we know he screamed, you'll be out of the country, you illegal, because that's on video, that's well documented. Reportedly he was intoxicated and uh, he was basically picking fight with the kids after Trump's inauguration. And I'm glad he got punched in the head. We need a little more punching people in the head. I'm not saying we should be a more violent culture. I don't need people, sh people don't need to be shooting each other, but you're going to second guess drinking a 12 pack of, you know, Schlitz and getting over to Danbury High School to yell at children if you think, you know, a couple of them might punch you in your dome piece. So here's what I had to say about it. So let's, uh, let's go chronological with this bitch. Or let's try at least. Remember this guy? Hey, you'll be out of the Illegal. All right, so that is the guy that went to Danbury High School about a month ago. The January 20th incident caught on video quickly went viral, caused an uproar from local immigrant advocates. In the video, an apparently intoxicated man showed up at Danbury High School hours after President Trump's inauguration and shouted obscenities at minority students, including the, the clip I just played for you. I'll play it again. Now, apparently the guy was punched in the face and declined to press charges, uh, but there were no charges pressed on him, which is why the students walked out of Danbury High School yesterday. Again, about 500 of them. I don't care what anybody thinks about you know, whatever your political affiliation and whatever your ideas about this are. Anybody getting drunk and going to a school to scream at kids? Ah, it's not my kind of guy. What, what are you thinking? I don't even like going to pick up my kids at school. It's like a sacred, safe place. You know, we talk about, everybody talks about safe places now. I need a safe place from your scary ideas. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about an actual safe. It should be a safe haven for the kids. Shouldn't have a bunch of a, a loaded guys showing up screaming obscenities like I don't like going to pick up my kids you got to buzz in you know they're always like who are you what are you doing here I don't look like a dad I look like an ass face looking to cause trouble so I'm always like nervous just you get know, on you know you have something to say go say it to adults don't run you know don't you know pound 85 Miller lights and then go do this this six 15 and 16 year old kids I mean, you got to be a grade-A nipplehead. That's all I'm saying. And if you disagree, you're wrong. I got no problem telling you that.